Welcome and welcome back, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and these players are way smarter than I am. Now, these are Electro Dragon attacks, but they are 234 904 IQ E Dragon attacks. These are crazy strategies that go far beyond what many have coined E Dragon spam or the cheesiest way to get a win in Clash. Yes, for those who are lactose intolerant, these attacks are all hold the cheese. Now, of course, these are taking things a little bit further than most of us are ever able or willing to try but we can glean some individual moves strategies that might help us achieve more three stars on our own so make sure you stay subscribed to the channel you have notifications turned on because i also promise you that there is an update coming before you know it it will be here and i will bring you the earliest and most accurate update information also please continue using code galadon before you make a purchase in the shop it is helping out a great deal and remember if you make a purchase without using any creator code all your healers will die to seeking air mines now check out nebrax and the sneaky goblins that came out of that stone slammer and while it looked like it was a big mistake nope there goes the town hall just as planned it seems different to bring a stone slammer to snipe the town hall but that's exactly what we saw there beautifully done and that helps the dragons and balloons avoid that region of the base nice little funnel they avoid the poison as well and now it really comes down to spell timing and placement you'll notice that a lot of these attacks are simply rage and freeze and that is almost always going to be the case when you're using electro dragons now nebrax brought an invis spell which he's going to use shortly on the royal champion personally i love to bring the phoenix with the royal champion she usually is going to use it right when she's in the core of the base and she almost always grabs an additional defense or three with that extended life from the phoenix but 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 wait why am i giving advice no don't listen to me don't don't do it don't do what i say do what i watch okay as we watch these attacks we're gonna get better and i'm going to try to improve my own e-dragon attacks but yes obviously these guys do much more than spam these attacks are against nearly fully or completely maxed out town hall 15s which i just talked about in the other episode that other day over there back there if you watch the channel how difficult it is to pull off a three star as a pro player against a pro base the percentages have really really dropped of late and i'll be honest i'm hoping to see a balancing that allows more average players to pick up triples at town hall 15. now there went the royal champion she used that invis spell to survive a bit longer she's going to come out wipe out everything else and nebrax picks up a beautiful 317 iq e dragon attack but we are not done and i'm also happy to report that not all of these attacks today were done by pro players now this was also from a live streamed tournament where the clan tlk took on tribe gaming and it's fun to watch somebody other than tribe drop an e-dragon triple we're going to see that in just a moment with the third attack of the day which is my personal favorite because it came from my very own clan as well now this looks a little bit more like the e-dragon attack that galadon uses using invincible blimp to get in and after that town hall although the blimp here does not get all the way to the town hall in fact watch what happens when the blimp drops that's right you've got invis spells and super minions raining down death on all structures in the area and that's what made this a 700 iq attack look at the town hall obliterated as the minions target anything outside of that range of the invisibility spell absolutely genius i love that idea i also enjoyed the very beginning of the attack if you saw the combination of balloons and super loons to take out an air defense at the top of the base that also helped a little bit of funneling then like we saw in the first attack the heroes come down later the heroes have also received a bit of funneling and they have a very small area to focus on in fact 
Notice that the E-Dragon portion is just about done. There was actually a super minion still in the core wiping stuff out. And the heroes are going to do most of the heavy lifting from here on out and pick up the three star for this player that destroyed a tribe gaming base. And again, although we are seeing mass E-Dragons and balloons being spammed in a big group, there's so much more to these attacks. And that's where the problem lies for the average player you'll notice that we have three very different strategic E-Dragon attacks in today's episode, and there just isn't a simple and easy strategy. Drop Army A and Slot B and pick up a three, right? That, But we don't want that. We don't want the cookie cutter wins, and that's the problem that we're looking to solve right now. And when I say we, I mean actually Supercell. They want to make it so that the average player can enjoy an occasional three-star, but professional players are not spamming and winning threes time and time again for perfect wars, which would make any sort of esports competition almost impossible. Is the idea of a whole new difficulty level just for pro players a possibility? Probably not, but that would be kind of cool if there was just a slight tweak that made all of the defenses tougher and all of the offenses a little bit weaker and that way pros could play on a different scale, average players could still have fun, and okay, let's talk about this one right here from Eb, Eb, Ra, from my clan, use code Galadon. This, I thought, was an absolute genius use of Electro Dragons. I love, right here, look at the entire corner being wiped out by an E-Dragon and a Baby Dragon. This is also a beautiful little funnel for what's going to come next. Watch the Barbarian King come down here, and help work to take out the defending king and the defending clan castle troops. Here comes the king, here comes the queen. They're gonna take all of this stuff out with a nice little poison spell. And then up at the top of the base, we've got more funneling happening with the royal champion rolling in after that expo. So the E-Dragons, and this is again the key. Spam, no, no longer a thing in 2023. But surgical E-Dragons, surgical precision taking out things like Expos, single target infernos, there you go. Notice the entire bottom left of the base is devoid of any sort of defenses. In fact, as the heroes move clockwise around the base, what you're essentially going to see is an E-Dragon attack go take out half a base, right? We are now at 50%, 50% damage and the E-Dragons are not even down yet. So what I'm learning here is, hey, yes, funnel the dragons, take out the high value defenses and then overpower the rest with your beautiful e-dragons especially over a base that's pretty compact that allows those e-dragons to use their chain now yes beautiful use right here of the flame flinger gonna roll right in taking out the town hall and the eagle artillery a solo dragon on the bottom right with a rage spell now we're at two-thirds damage to the base and the E-Dragons are still not down. What? 72%. 72% damage was done before the Dragons moved in. Now, the only thing I would have done differently is to drop the balloons in front of the Dragons so that they pick up any Seeking Air Mines. Other than that, what a flawless attack. Love watching these guys roll in. Even with the air defense, the remaining defenses trying to fire away. There's just too little of this base left. And yes, the Flame Flinger sneaking up, taking the back door entry to the town hall, gonna take it down. And now you can see tons of E-Dragons are still up. This was one of my favorite E-Dragon attacks that I've ever seen. It definitely belongs in a video. In fact, it was this attack that spawned the idea of a 900 IQ E-Dragon video. I certainly learned some things that will improve my E-Dragon attacks. I hope you did as well. And thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Galafam, now get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Do your dragons not have a 300 IQ, Galidon? Hmm? <laughs>